Hi Alex, I saw your Tetris video and I'm glad you've been able to return to something that brings you so much joy of a sort. It's wild to me to think that we can find such different things relaxing and I also think it's really funny that in a way we've kind of thought of the same video topic this week without even trying because I'm about to make a video where you watch me solve a Sudoku puzzle. <music> I could talk a little bit about some things that have helped me get better at Sudoku or solve Sudoku puzzles. Um, I did mention that in the last video and I don't know how serious you were about it, but it's it's what I've decided to do. So here we go. So solving Sudoku puzzles is all about thinking of numbers in sets of nine. And as far as I can figure, there are basically three ways to do this. You can think about the row or the column. They're basically the same to me, and I think this is the worst way or the way that is most challenging for me. So I don't like to do this, but I usually have to a little bit. Then there's thinking about a box, nine numbers in their little three by three box. And then there's my favorite way to think about numbers, which is the arrangement of an individual number. So here, we're not constantly counting to nine over and over again. We're thinking, where are all the twos on the board? Or where are all the fours? Basically, really focusing in on a single set of numbers. The first big thing that helps me solve a Sudoku puzzle is to constantly keep in mind that there are always different ways of looking at a particular place on the board or number or box. If I've already tried looking at all the numbers in the row or the column, or if I've already checked all the other numbers in the box, maybe I need to look at the number constellation, or just in any other order. And keeping this in mind helps me move really quickly into thinking about other ways to try to figure out what number goes in a particular place. What I've talked about so far is really kind of just down to the basics of Sudoku. Anyone who has learned to solve a puzzle has learned about this. Some of the other tricks that I use a lot are actually things I learned playing Sudoku um, electronically, which, you know, is not how I started. I mean, I'm a very pen and paper gal, as you know, so initially I didn't necessarily want to try doing Sudoku on apps or websites, but now it's the main way that I do actually do Sudoku puzzles, and doing it actually taught me some new tricks. The first one I want to talk about is secret pairs, um, or secret triplets. This works with sets of two numbers or sets of three numbers. To make this work, you're usually thinking in terms of rows or boxes. The basic gist is that if you can narrow down two squares in any given row or box where only two numbers will work, and those are the same two numbers, you don't actually have to figure out which number goes in which square first um, in order to rule those two numbers out of the rest of the row that they're in or the rest of the box that they're in if they're in the same box. You've already mentally placed them, even if you don't actually know which one goes in which particular square. And then for the other tip that I think about a lot, I don't really have a great name for this. Secret pairs is something I learned kind of specifically from hints on a given Sudoku website, but this other one, I can't really remember where I learned it or if it's sort of something I wound up working out by myself or from talking to my dad, who's also a big lover of Sudoku, but it sort of works on the same principle. We don't necessarily need to know exactly where a number goes in order to use that information to rule out other places. Say, in a given box, we know that the number one has to go in the left row somewhere. Maybe the other rows are really full and we already have blocked it out from the middle row for some other reason. But if we know that the one has to be in the left row in that particular box, any boxes below or above it, we know that the number one can't go in one of those. One is already on our board, even if we haven't written it in. And we can use that to rule it out from those other rows in those other boxes, and sometimes that can help you figure out where a number goes, even when it looks like there's nothing on the board that could directly tell you that. But oh well, this hasn't been a super in-depth video, and it's it's not meant to teach you how to like revol revolutionize your Sudoku game or anything. Maybe these are tips you, are, you even already know about, or, you know, maybe they're pretty basic. I'm not exactly an expert. I just have done a lot of Sudoku. I like puzzles, I like patterns, and sometimes I like things like this even more after I've figured out that there's a new kind of pattern I can use to get at the puzzle. So if these are new patterns to you, I hope they are kind of an interesting thing to take with you if you do Sudoku much in the future.
that's all I'll say about it for now, because, uh, you know, like you, I didn't plan too much for this video. Anyway, see you next week, puzzle friend Alex.